A day after the U.S. Senate passed a legislation aiming to ban TikTok from government devices, the CIA director, William Burns, has spoken out as well. He calls it a genuine concern and says the Chinese regime could very well demand data from the Beijing-based company. UN concern, I think, for the U.S. government um, in the sense that because the parent company of TikTok is a Chinese company, um, the Chinese government um, is able to, you know, insist upon extracting the private data of a lot of TikTok users in this country and also to shape the content of what goes on to TikTok as well to suit the interests of the Chinese leadership. I think those are real challenges and, and a source of real concern. These concerns from the United States are not new. A threat to national security has been brought as a recurring concern. This week itself, Florida has launched a legislative process to ban the application. In the past two weeks, seven states have moved to bar employees from using the app on government devices. This decision will not affect the more than 100 million Americans because they use TikTok on private or company-owned devices. TikTok has slammed the U.S. Congress and Senate for its actions. The company has called it troubling and said that the concerns are largely fueled by misinformation. The bite dance owned even went uh, to the extent of calling the ban politically motivated. The latest action comes as TikTok and the U.S. government have been negotiating a deal for the longest time. The two sides have not been able to come to a common consensus over whether the application should be allowed. There have been years of closed-door talks. TikTok and the Committee on Foreign Investment have also met, but still no solution. The lack of progress has frustrated lawmakers. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.